<clears throat> hey guys, Karen here with Watch Creative Designs. Come on in, say hello. Say hello as you come in. I've lost my comments. Hey, Audrey, how are you? Come on, man. I'm going to get everything up and running and we'll be ready to roll. Okay, and all my volumes are turned off. Hey, Linda. Hey, Drexel. Hey, Ann. How are y'all doing? Y'all come on in. Tell me what you've been up to today. Let's let a few people come on, and then we will um, we'll get going. I know, De guys, the snow last night, Debbie lives where it snowed too. She just posted I didn't come up for the snow. I told her I was headed to her house, but um, uh, watch it on Facebook. Watch. Oh, cool, Carol. But anyway, um, Debbie's uh, had snow at her house, and so I told her I was going to come to her house, and I didn't go. So she's scolding me a little bit. I'm sorry. But guys, we went to Sam's last night. And well, we went to eat, and it, I told Wesley when we came out, I said, You know, I really think that there's some snow mixed in that. And he's like, Yeah, maybe a little bit. And so we ran to Sam's right quick because we wanted to grab something. And um, when we started into Sam's, I said, Look at the snow, it's snowing a whole lot more. And so when we came out, guys, it was a wonderland like there was snow all over the place, and it was snowing hard. Um, go back and watch the videos on our page. Um, there's one where that snowflake landed on my shoe and it was huge. I couldn't believe it. But the funny part about it is in, in my live video that I did from there, we were showing, or I was showing this little car that was beside our truck. And I kept showing the little car about, you know, the, you know, oh my gosh, look how much snow's on the car. And the man walked <laughs> up. And got in the car, and he, I, you know, he was just, Wesley said he just stood there for a little bit, and he was like, I, you know, I, whatever, um, but it was funny. Put just a little bit on there for me. Alrighty, so we, um, I put on two designs today and gave you an opportunity to choose which one we were going to paint, either the umbrella with the rain boots, which is one of our spring designs, or the um, always with you with the little red bird in the tree, and overwhelmingly the red bird with the tree one. So that's what we're going to paint tonight. We'll paint the umbrella with the little rain boots. I told y'all y'all would see those rain boots again. That's one of the um, little designs in my um, spring tray, uh, tear tray designs. So, gosh, a lot of y'all have come on. Hey, Tina. Hey, Donna. Angela. Peggy. Brenda. Alrighty. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. That way we can finish um, early enough. Uh, I put on about what color to paint the background of this, and it seemed like the consensus was to paint it a light blue and maybe put some little wispy clouds in. So, but I think that's what we'll do, and then we'll paint the tree brown and shade it a little bit. The little birds, of course, will be red, and then we'll do Always With You in black just to make those show up really well. So, that's going to be what we're going to do. So, I'm going to roll y'all down. Y'all aren't going to see me for a little bit. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Susan, Phyllis, and Ann. How are y'all doing? All right. Y'all ready to go? Hold on. So, you can't see the whole thing, but I can't get you up any higher. 
You can see the main part. Alrighty. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put a coat of paint. This is the little tree, and it forms to the side of the oval, so it looks like it's just growing up out of the ground instead of just being a random tree stuck on there. So, um, that's what I liked about it. I thought it looked really pretty like that. So, and then the little red bird will sit on the branches. Okay. So I'm gonna put all these to the side and we'll paint these once we get the um, background painted because it will need to dry for a little bit. So we're gonna put all that to the side and I am going to give this a nice coat of paint, okay? So do I have any Super Bowl fans here or just we're all Super Bowl haters? <laughs> I'm just not a huge fan of football. I, you know, I tolerate it. I watch it, but it's just not my favorite thing to do. Angela said, I'm, are you a hater or I'm a hater? <laughs> I had some blue paint that was old. I was trying to use it, but it's got some trash in it. But when you get that, you just pick it out and just roll it to the side and have your little napkin sitting there and it flicks right off. I normally try to get it on there first and get it all covered and then um, give it a good swipe to even it all out. But I like to get all of my, my areas covered really, really well. Hey Donna, if I miss some of your comments, I'm sorry. I'll be able to see more of them in just a little bit once we get this base coated. We'll go ahead and get this on. We may lighten it up on the next go round. That's a little dark. What do you think? I think we need to go a little lighter. And what I did is I mixed a little dark blue with white paint to kind of get the variegated look. I like that. It's not just one set color. You've got a little dark, a few darker places than and lighter places. And to me, that just makes it look more like a sky when you do that versus just having one solid flat color. So... Alrighty, I think I'm going to set this to the side over here for just a few minutes while we paint our other things and then we'll grab it and put another coat on. Alrighty, 
just so we're not, in case we get some paint down, I'm going to put it on one of these little um, pieces of paper to paint it. That way I'm not sticking it down in more paint. And I'm going to be using one of the little daubers. These are, <laughs> I have a bunch of old ones in here, so... Um, they look really, really ratty and icky, but they work great. So if you get, when you get these, and a lot of you that get kits from me will have these, um, just rinse them out. When, when you're finished using them, just dump them down in your paint water and then rinse them out when you're finished painting and you can use them again. Just let them dry really good. I normally get a paper towel after I wash them and dry them and then just lay them out on a, a little cloth and let them dry. So... Alrighty, we are going to do the little tree brown and we're going to just put a little one coat on it right now and then we'll go back and, and put some more on it. Hey Donna, hey Debbie, hey Christy, Brenda, hey Ben, Tara, hey. Well, it looks like I have a bunch of people that did not want to watch the Super Bowl and I'm with you. You know, and so I don't hate football. I'm just not a huge lover of it, and I don't watch any NFL, so I don't really watch any college. When Blake was at Clemson, I did go to the games, but it was because he was in the band. <laughs> I always told my husband, I said, if I could buy a band pass, I would do that. <laughs> hey, Dale. Hey, Garrett. How are y'all doing? And just like the little tear trays, once I load it up, I just daub it off onto the little um, lid. Is anybody joining us new tonight that hasn't watched us before? Let me know. This makes such fast work of, of that. Did anybody on? Hey, y'all. Um, did anybody get snow last night at their house other than Debbie? I know Debbie got it. Who else? Hey, Tommy. Hey, Jackie. People have asked me for a while now to um, come out with a red bird design and I also have another one. I'm not finished with it yet, but there will be another one um, But this one is um, And it may not it may be a little while, but this one is um, Going to be available as soon as we're finished if anybody is is interested, but um, And it's available as a kid a paint party and a finished design so I'll have it up on the Facebook and web page. And the video, I don't know if uh, some of y'all um, know this already because you watched me paint all week. Um, I think we did, what we do? Five days of lives, six days of lives. Um, so that's a record, right? But um, I have um, started a YouTube channel. So I'm on YouTube. I have a channel on there and I've got some videos. I posted another one today. Um, so y'all will have to go over and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And the reason the YouTube channel I decided to do it is because I had people that were purchasing kits and I was painting some of those kits on, um, Facebook Live. And by the time they got ready to watch them, the videos were so far back in the feed um, and they were having a difficult time searching for them and finding them. So I thought, you know, I think I'll go ahead and just start the YouTube channel. So 
Wow, Debbie, four inches of snow. I'm jealous for sure now. We had rain. They had some more snow in the forecast for this week, but I think they've taken it all out. I'm not a happy camper. I would, you know, I'm ready for uh, for summer. <laughs> Let's just bypass spring. I want summer. That's my favorite time of year. But um, I would like to see one snow, one really nice snow. All right, so we've got that covered up really well. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna lay this to the side and then we will paint um, the little red birds. But what I'm gonna do with my little sponge is I'm just gonna dump it down into my water and that way it can go ahead and start draining off a little bit. Does anybody in, in here watch football? Do you think we should give the little red bird a black face or just leave it red? The whole little bird red or put a little face on him. Just high school football. And you know, I think there's a lot of people like that. They like, you know, their school, their, their homeschool sports, um, but they're not really one to watch them on TV. And I just think a lot of people have gotten away from the NFL over the years. There's just been so much controversy and stuff there. I just... And I, that's not why I don't watch it. I just never have been a football fan. It's just not one of those things that's ever interested me. All right. Now, let's see. We are going to do the... Always with you. I think we're going to do that in black. Yeah, y'all heard my spoon. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was so hungry and our dinner didn't get done in time. Hey, Mary. Ann says, I don't know if you saw my post, but y'all may, may think I'm crazy. I'm 74 years old. I lost a very good friend today, suddenly. I want to be prepared. My high school mascot was a cardinal. I've loved them ever since. This piece will be on my headstone. I'm going to order it and have my only granddaughter to paint it. Oh, how sweet. That is so sweet. Hey, Becky. Okay, we got one put a face on it. So y'all let me know if you think our little red bird needs a face. I am so sorry, Ann, about your little your friend. It's hard to lose friends, especially suddenly like that. It's not e not easier if you know they're sick, but at least you understand it a little more. I think. It's tough.
And I'm gonna go ahead and paint the little exclamation mark and we'll decide at the end if we think it needs that or not. I couldn't decide whether I liked it or not. Part of me said, yeah, it needed some kind of punctuation at the end and then the other part said, yeah, I don't know, I don't like it. So we'll decide what we think. And then again, I, you know, it'll come with it if you, um, because it's part of the file, if you don't like it, you could just leave it off because it's not all connected together. It's just, This design will be super easy to paint too. It's a base coat of paint and just getting your letters all together and then gluing everything down. So um, it isn't difficult to do at all. So it's something that even an amateur could do by themselves if you decided to do the um, DIY paint kit. Alrighty, I'm gonna set all these to the side and let's go see how, if, if we're dry enough to put another coat on over there. I'm gonna lay these on the computer and hopefully they won't start typing for us. <laughs> That's always the look I have though, y'all know. I'm gonna try my best not to spill tonight though. I'll be right back. Oh yeah, we're getting dry. It never fails. As soon as I go live, I always have some, uh, several people message me. All right. That. Clean water, girl. Clean water. I threw those little daubers down in there. I didn't think about that. Here we go. I should have opted to open a new bottle, shouldn't I? I don't use a lot of blue, so my blue doesn't um, doesn't do very well. Or in the arm shot. <laughs> I'm gonna go around the edges in a few minutes. I'm just trying to get it all base coated on before it starts drying on me. Because once you start with that color like that and you mix it the way I did, that's not how we normally do it. Like at parties and stuff, we'll mix it on a paper plate and all that. But most of the time, I'll just mix it on whatever it is I'm painting. Just because it um 
I always to play a paint. And the paint can be pre-mixed. Probably what I will do is just um, pull a bottle out um, and find a color that's real similar to what I end up with and just send the bottle with a kit. So I'm going to go around. I just rub the brush. I don't put any more paint on it, just what's on it. Just rub it around the edges. Some people don't paint the side of theirs, and that's a personal preference. I do. Um, you'll see people on Etsy that are selling, and they don't even paint the sides, but to me, it just looks so much more of a finished design if you paint around the edges. Any of mine that I um, I send out, they're painted on the edges, and um, they're finished completely. I don't send out anything that I wouldn't hang on my own door. If I, if I finish it and don't like it, it don't go out, so. What we need to do is decide on a design um, and do like a Zoom paint party or something like that. And that way everybody could see everybody when, while we painted. That would be a lot of fun. It gets kind of lonely here painting by myself. Y'all are talking to me on there, but it's still kind of, it's just not the same of being in the same room or being able to see somebody when you... Um, Hey, Tammy. Hey, Kim. Hey, Claudia, Amber, Sandra. A lot of y'all joined in. Welcome. I'm glad y'all are here. We are going to let this dry for just a few minutes, and we'll check out our other little things, and then um, if we finish with this one fast enough, we may even start on the other one if we got time. We'll see. If not, we'll paint it one day this week, the little umbrella with the rain boots. I thought that was so cute. I'm trying to clean the blue off of me. Alrighty. I'm going to put this over here and let it dry. some clouds on it a little bit. All right, now y'all be all quiet. Y'all got to talk to me. Hey, Kathy, how are you? 
Alrighty, we'll paint this and then we'll get started on the red birds again after we're finished with this. Let's cover up our little white paint. Alrighty. Usually two coats is plenty, unless you're um, painting red or yellow or orange. Um, most of the time, those colors are gonna take a little bit more. Um, the red bird's tiny, so it's probably gonna be good with the two. And I put it on a little bit thick too with the dauber, so that always makes a big difference too. Oh, Savannah, that's so sweet. Um, we had a paint party yesterday at Church of Christ in Lawrence. It was an open to the public party. Y'all watch because we'll have another one coming up either the last Saturday in February or either the first um, Saturday in March. So y'all um, stay on the watch out. I'll be posting, putting that one up soon. I got to find out what the, um, which date, make sure my dates are available before I, I post it, but I'm glad y'all had a fun time. And I'm so glad Miss Mike got to come. She'll be watching this at about 11 o'clock tonight or 12. She's my night owl. And if you're watching this on a replay, um, just make sure to um, comment replay. So I know you've been here. She always lets me know. <laughs> For when we paint the umbrella and the little rain boots, the rain boots are 3D, so the top is separate from the back of them. So what color do you think our umbrella and our rain boots need to be? When I put these two on, I kind of felt like this one would win. <laughs> I've had so many people ask about something with the red birds, so. Tree is done. Hey, Chelsea. Lime green and pink rain boots. Okay, Debbie, what color for the background on the rain boots? because there's the background's one color and I'll show you what I'm talking about. These are the rain boots in my little tear tray set where the back end is a different color than the front. So, and I thought maybe the umbrella, I would put some um, sort of dots, um, maybe polka dots or something like that on it. What do you think? Hey, Heather. Purple on the back. Purple on the back of the boots and pink on the front. Okay. What about the umbrella? If we did lime green, we could do purple and pink polka dots. Have matching boots. Do a lime green umbrella with the purple and pink spots.
purple and pink dots, yeah, to match the boots. I think so. That would be cute. Well, that is what we will do then. Would you go like a um, a dark purple or maybe a lighter purple like this? I was thinking maybe the lighter color since we are going into Easter, spring. What do you think? Oh, I know y'all love purple, Miss Savannah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm still pulling. With lime green, wouldn't the darker colors look better than the pastels? Yeah, I mean, it would look good, too. Y'all decide. I'll paint whichever color y'all want to go. We'll pull out some colors in a little bit. I mean, we could do the lime green with, like, a dark purple and magenta for the pink. That'd be really bright. Or we could do like pink eraser and um, maybe purple petunia with the lime green. I'll pull them out in just a few minutes and let you see. Because we got to let some of this stuff dry before we can do anything else. So we'll look at the colors for the, um, the umbrella. And for anybody that don't know what I'm talking about, I posted pictures over on our Facebook page of two designs and let you all choose which one I painted tonight. And most everybody chose the this one that we're painting now. Well, I had a few people um, want the rain boots, but this one was the one that most people wanted to paint. We've painted all week long. We painted the um, spring tiered tray. I did three days of painting on it. We didn't paint it all at once. That's just way too long to to hold people. Um, but and then on the fourth day, we put everything together. And um, I gave I showed you all some things that I had got from Dollar Tree. So who made their Dollar Tree run for their um, tiered tray extras? The little things that you put in the tear trays. Y'all let me know I'm going to grab that paint. Let's see. I'm still here. I haven't gone anywhere. I'm just looking to see if I can find magenta, but I don't see one. I've got some out over there. I'll just let you see it. All right, so let me find that pink magenta, the magenta that I have out. I got some more paint in. I just haven't um, restocked. You made it to the Dollar Tree. Did you find a bunch of good stuff, Drexel? 
You went to the Dollar Tree and spent $26 because of my fines. You had to come home and hide it. Oh my gosh, you did. Did you see the little wooden box that has the stars? I did. I'm going to use it for my 4th of July and Memorial Day. Oh my gosh. I bet that is going to be so cute. I didn't even think about that. I saw the little boxes. Mine had boxes. Some of them had hearts on them and... Um, they had a lot of different stuff. Okay, so here's the paint. So if we did the umbrella, um, the lime green, and we did the rain boots, the dark purple on the back, and the magenta pink on the front, what do you think? <laughs> you did too, Jackie. Oh my gosh. Did y'all find anything else that I didn't show? Debbie found the little wooden boxes. I saw them, but I didn't get any of them because I was like, oh, I don't know. I might have to make a trip back now. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know what? Those little things, I mean, that's super cheap. And they're just so cute. You could do so much with some of those things. And you could use them for like different seasons. So it wouldn't go with just one of the kits. It would go with lots of the kits. Okay, so what do y'all think? Go with the darker colors with the lime green or... And this needs to be stirred, but so with the lime green, go with a darker or the lighter. <laughs> Debbie said she spent $24. Brian, her husband, said thanks, Karen. <laughs> I'll tell him you are most welcome. Only the best for him. All right, we have one vote for the dark. Two. Two votes dark. This is gonna be for the rain boots and the umbrella. Okay, I got one vote for lighter. Got a bunch of darks. Taryn, it's okay. We're still painting. I'm just letting stuff dry and we're trying to figure out what we're going, what colors we're going to do the um, umbrella and rain boots with. So. So far, the dark colors with the green or what everybody's voting for. So, I'm going to just lay them up here and y'all can keep talking about it. The light pink next to the dark purple. Do we like that? Or do we like the dark pink? All right, y'all look at that. I'm going to go over here and see if our um, base for our red bird's dry. Not quite. I'm going to bring it over. Turn the fan on a little bit. I hate to turn run the hair dryer, but we may have to. All right. So we still like the dark pink. I 
going to hit this with a hair dryer right quick and I'll be right back. So do you think we need um, um, to, for it to be a little bit lighter or do we like the, um, do we like the color? Our other pieces will dry up real good. I got the fan on now, so we'll get, we'll get dry fast. That's true. Debbie said we could paint it the light pink, and if we didn't like it, we could always go over it. So we good with this color, or do we want to go a little lighter? This is our tree on there. What do you think? The blue background turned out great. Hey, Sydney, how are you? I got a lot of glare from one of my lights. Man, that ain't quite so bad. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and put it all over here. Oh, we got to paint the little faces on the little, the little birds. What do you think about the little face on him? Yay, nay, maybe. Or we just like him red. What do y'all think about the face? We'll put another little coat of paint on them in a little bit. That'll have to dry a little bit. Hold it up closer. It's just a little red bird.
Hey, Connie, how are you? All right, so we'll put another coat on this little face in just a little bit, but we're going to um, we'll lay it out and let you see what it looks like. And then I'll get the glue and we'll glue it all together. Now, do we like the exclamation mark or no? Do we put it on? No, let me know. Connie's been taking a nap. Lucky you. You know, these days, if I take a nap, I cannot sleep at night, so. Hey, Donna, how are you? Grab some glue. We're gonna put a little shading in that tree too. It says, always with you. I'll turn it around. The horrible thing about this is that everything's backwards. For y'all, I don't know if you can see that right now. But the little tree kind of goes with the, and it says, always with you. Alrighty, so we're gonna do some shading here and then we'll do some um, some more to the little birds but I'll show you a fun little way that I like to do shading and it's super fast and easy and it doesn't take forever I just take a little bit of my brown paint that I use the same color as the tree and put in there and then I just dip down into my water and thin my paint out a whole lot. I want it super thin. And then just paint that on. Oops, let me turn the fan off. It'll dry fast with that fan on. Thank you, Connie. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my black and just put the end of my brush into it and make little dots around. that end off because I always stick my hand on it if I don't. And then with the same brush, I didn't put it in water or anything. I just drag. And if it gets too dark in some spots, just put a little bit more of your brown water stuff on. But to me, that just gives it a, a look of having some grain in it.
Summer's ready for another paint party. <laughs> she sent me pictures of her little penguin. She is so proud of that. I'm proud of her. She did a great job. For it to be, especially for it to be her first time at, um, ever coming to a paint party. I was impressed. She did a great job. I love it. I think you got your paint buddy now. <laughs> We have fun at the parties. The social distancing keeps people farther apart than what we normally are at those parties. We normally um, eat and have food and all kinds of other things. I, I always, if I host one um, of my own, I've always had food in the past. So not having food is really odd for me. But right now, I just think it's best that everybody else just bring their own snacks. So, And definitely bring food if you want your own. But... I'm just not providing food for other people right now. I think it's best. So do you think the shading adds a little bit to the tree? You like the shading? Yeah, Karen, I didn't think it was a bad party. I thought it was really good. I did a lot of laughing, a lot of good times. I thought everybody had a fun time. I did. But I always enjoy the party. Most of the time, the people that are there are people that I know. And, am friend, you know, y'all painted with me before, so it's not like we don't know each other. There were, But we did have some new ladies yesterday, so it was their first time. The first time's always the scariest. <laughs> There's nothing to be afraid of, though, because I am there to help you every bit of the way, so. See how it makes it look like the tree bark when you do that? To me, it just gives it a, a nice look. I like it. Thank you, Karen. That's so sweet. All right, so what do y'all think? About our little tree. I got that black paint out. I think we're going to put a little bit more on our little bird faces and then we will um we'll be just about ready to Oh, we got to put some clouds on. I'm about to forget those clouds. I think I'm going to put a little a little white dot for the little bird's eye. What do you think? Yeah.
All right, so we got another little coat on our little birds, so we'll let them dry. here with all kind of blue paint. I don't know where I, I think I did that with a brush a minute ago. It's a mess. All right. Let's put the lid back on our brown and let our little tray dry a little bit and our little birds. Let's see. I'm going to put the tree back down. Let's put some clouds on. And I made a bow. I don't know if we'll like the bow or not, but we'll see. Let's put it up here, and that'll kind of determine our clouds, too. Grab our little birds and put them back on. What do you think about the bow? Y'all like that bow on there? Tell me what you think about that bow. What do y'all think? I'm sitting here thinking it needs something even down here. What about dry brushing a little white onto it? Tell me what y'all think about that. It would kind of give, it would just be light in places. So what do you think about snow? Yeah, you could do snow. I'm going to just do it, though, where it's just kind of a, not a seasonal thing. Because red birds can be for any time of year. So, I think I'm going to leave it where it can be any time. Because I carry most of these to paint parties and stuff with me if somebody paints one. Yeah, we could do some grass. What do you think, guys? Grass? I got one more bite of my dinner and I'm done, y'all. <laughs> I don't want to be 10 o'clock eating. We'll put just a little bit of dry brush on it. We won't do it hard or much. Let me grab a, I don't have a chip brush out here. Let me grab one. What am I eating? I was eating stir fry, chicken stir fry. Wesley cooked it out on the, um, on the grill. It was so good. But it didn't get done before it was time for me to go live. So, we got a little bit late start on it. All right. So, I'm going to put some brush on and then I'm going to just daub most of it off. Get as much off as I can. And then we'll...
Don't have a big cloud over there. We wipe some of that off. If it gets too much, you can just take a little wet towel or baby wipe or something and wipe it and then go back in and give it a little, little rub over. All right, do y'all want to put grass on it a little bit at the bottom? What you think? Oh yeah, I like the white on it. Should I go a little darker on the white, do you think? A little bit? You want a little more. All righty. What about grass? And if you wanted, you could kind of make little circles and because, you know, you got wispiness clouds in the sky. Okay, I'm seeing no grass. And you know you don't want to put too much on them sometimes because if you do, then you kind of just, um, you got... Overwhelped a little bit. I'm gonna turn one of these lights off and see if y'all can see a little better. Can y'all see that a little better? No. Hey, Lily, how are you? So, you think that's enough, or y'all want a little bit more? Says that's enough. I'm gonna put a little bit down here on the bottom. And we're gonna roll with it. Alrighty. Let's cover up that. Oh, before we cover up that, we're gonna give this little these little guys a little eye.
So we have a little white dot in his eye, their eye. Guys, if you think any of your friends and family were would like to watch, send them and share this with your friends, I would appreciate it. All right, so we're going to put him here. And this one goes here. And then it's always... I had with, but uh, it's gone. Oh, where'd he go to? <laughs> Wiz is missing. There it is. My, I know I didn't go anywhere. Y'all never know what you're going to get when you watch my live, do you? Okay, so we're going to put the bow on. That's going to help us with our spacing. So do we like it? Where y'all can see the always with you. And an exclamation. Do you like the exclamation mark on there? Do we like it like that? Like that? Hey, Wesley. Hey, Hope. All righty. Let's glue down then. What I like to do is once I get it placed where I want it, I'll make like some little tiny marks on it and they're never really even noticed. Alrighty, so just like in our little tear tray kits, if you order this as a paint kit, it will come with just the little brush and the um, the little pot of glue. Um, so you just turn it upside down and get the brush and, but it needs something. What does it need, Christy? Tell me what you think. Just put a generous little coat of the glue on. I just turn my brush up on the sides. If some gets over the edge, it's okay. It'll dry clear. I just don't want it running over the edge. Then it gets icky. You gotta go pretty quick with it though because it dries. Not super fast, but it'll dry pretty good. On these big areas, I'm leaving it kind of thick because I, I can run back over some of it if I need to. Y'all tell me what you think it needs.
You could use super glue on this, but super glue is just not, not good. I just use wood glue and it works great and it's weatherproof and these aren't made though for outside. Um, they're made for like a covered porch. Um, it's best if you had a screen door. If you don't have a screen, you really want to protect it with like a lacquer spray or something like that. You can buy them at Walmart. You just have to make sure that you get the clear. Um, I've had someone get the colored before and it doesn't, it don't work too good when you spray black or, or white onto it, so. All right, so we'll put that to the side. Move this. Let's see, let's try and find something. Hmm, I don't know what I could put on it. I need something to hold it all down. <laughs> Pull out the big guns, right? Lay something on top of it. Alrighty, we'll put the little birds on in a minute. And let's see, my little letters move. So let's get them situated back where they were. Do y'all like the way the words are posi positioned on there? Lisa said, LOL, that was me. You are not the only one that has ever done that, though. I promise. I've had more than one come in um, like that. So, but you know what? We can fix it. It's okay. <laughs> we just have to do a little um, either sand, depending on how bad it is. Sometimes we have to sand it a little bit, but. Okay, we're just going to dab the glue onto our little A right here while we got our tree. I need something else heavy on that. Let's see. <laughs> Y'all like my stops here. I'm telling you, you got to watch because you never know what's going to happen over here. I think I'm, I'm going to get the nickname the Hot Mess Express before you know it. You know, when you're doing stuff live, though, anything can happen. You are kind of out of control. And I'm not one of those people that thinks a whole, whole lot before I talk. So, I just have to be careful. And I don't say anything bad, but you just have to think about how you say your words sometimes. All right, so let's put this one down. Find our little mark. Make sure we're getting it straight. The reason I put something on those limbs to hold them down is because they are so fragile. Like they really needed something to set them down good so y'all still see me I think you can so if you are interested in um attending one of the um a paint party on one of those dates let me know which date would work best for you would um, I'm think I'm leaning towards the March date. I think it's maybe March 6th. It's the first Saturday in March, and it would be at the Church of Christ. So y'all let me know if that's something that y'all would like to attend. Um, social distancing is in place. A lot of the ladies that were there this last Saturday, well, yesterday, 
um, can tell you that it's one of those things where you are, um, I don't think anybody there felt like they were too close to anybody. I think they were all real, real pleased with the, the setup. March sounds good. A couple of birds on the ground would be cute. Yeah, Audrey, that would be. I don't have any bird, more birds right now, but maybe I can get some more birds and we can put some more down there and see. To me, when uh, this design is just one that I I just felt like needed. It had a meaning um, to me and a lot of people, I think. Um, and just the simplicity of it, I think, is what I love, is that it's just Did we decide on that exclamation mark? All right, we'll work for March the 6th then. Everybody mark your calendars. I will call and, and see. I think it probably is. much stuff on my desk. Glitter. You know I got glitter on everything. <laughs> and like I say, if you didn't want... Um, a red bird, you could always paint your birds a different color if you just like the design but didn't want the red birds that could be. Be any color you wanted it to be. Him right there. It could. Yeah, they, I mean, they can say whatever you want them to. I just have to know that in advance if you want it to be something different than, um, than this. It could say welcome. It could say whatever. put my glue in my water with my brushes just because I don't want that glue gunk all over my brushes it makes them icky <clears throat> all right everything's all glued down I'm not putting that near the computer no water near the computer again <laughs> Oh my gosh, that green water that day, it was awful. All right, so I'm thinking some black swooshes around the edge. I think that's gonna be one of the things that maybe will um, bring it out. What do y'all think? Just do some real light black swooshes around the edge. And then we'll get the hanger up on it and hang it up behind me so y'all can see it.
Oh my goodness. <clears throat> All right, what else? What else? What else? So what do y'all think? much <clears throat> all right so here's what we got so far I'm gonna put the hanger on it right quick and then I'm gonna hang it behind me and I'll lift the um, lift the camera up and let y'all see it on the wall and we can decide if we think it needs anything else I'm gonna put a jute hanger on it just because I think that would look good um, with this particular design, if you wanted the metal hanger, um, that ain't a problem. But I think I'm going to put the jute on it um, for right now. We'll see how it looks. We do a few little white swooshes in the tree. We'll bring it out a little bit. Let's tie it up back here right quick and then we'll we'll put those on. Y'all were impressed. I went ahead and made a bow, didn't you? When I saw this one was probably going to win, I was like, yeah, we'll go ahead and put the bow on. Make a bow and put it on and hang it and everything while we're on. That way y'all can see it from beginning to end. All right. Debbie said let's add some white to the, the tree. So let's do it. We'll just add just a little bit, not a lot. And you could even add the little swooshes in um, when you do your black, if you wanted to. And if they get too dark, just rub them with your finger. A lot of times that'll just blend it. What do y'all think about the white swooshies?
Can we light the white around this little face or no? I can blacken it back up if y'all don't like the white around this face. Y'all tell me what you think. You like the white or no? I do like it in the wing. You like the white around it? All right, so what else? Can you think of anything else? y'all up and hang it on the wall back here behind me and see what we think about it so let's get it hung up and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like hanging up all right I'm gonna fix it to bring y'all up so hold on just a minute All right, so what do we think? We like it or no? What do you think? like it. And, and like Connie asked, the saying can be whatever you want it to be. So it doesn't have to be always with you. It can be anything that you choose. So but the little tree just kind of fits along the curve of the oval. And then it's just got the two little birds there. So I thought it was meaningful and to a lot of people. So I thought it was precious. Thank you, Angela. Phyllis. Green splatter paint. No, that's on the wall beside it. <laughs> We, did, we still have green splatter paint, Phyllis. It's on the wall. <laughs> oh, it's all up here. I have, and look, it went, I mean, this high on the wall. It was crazy. I could not believe it. So, thank you, Ann. And our loved ones always are with us, so... They're always with you, so. Pretty, pretty. Alrighty, so. I mean, wow, that's super tall, isn't it? Alright, so this week, um, We'll try and get the um, other design painted. Hold on, I'll show it to you. Again, I've just got it sketched out with chalk. I don't have anything drawn or any of that. So, 
it's just sketched out. Um, it is going to be a spring design. It's an umbrella with rain boots. Um, the little rain boots are the same rain boots that's in our spring tiered tray. Um, if you're not familiar with the tiered tray world, you got to get with the program because we've got some awesome cute um, tiered trays. But the same little boots will be in it. And we have decided, I think, that we are going to paint the top of our boots pink and the back of our boots purple. Oh, guys, we got another decision to make. Um, I'm going to just paint the little bottoms of them black. I just think that'll be cute. And our little umbrella. I don't know if you can see it very well. It's just drawn on in chalk. Um, the umbrella at top is going to be green. And it's going to have the little handle. We'll do it. Maybe what color, what color for the handle and what color for the background. I'm thinking maybe gray. Um, for the background and maybe put some raindrops in. What do you think? Brenda says she's seen a family tree like this. It also has a number of birds, represents the number of family, like the Medlands, two birds for Brenda and Brian. Oh, yeah. Like I say, you could do as many as you want to. Okay, so what color for the handle on our umbrella? What do you think? We could do like this part silver and then do a cut off here, a break, and maybe do the handle purple. Or black. Phyllis says black or light gray. Since it's such a fun design, I don't know if black handle on it would be, um, I don't know. Maybe do gray and then put silver on it. We like, we like silver and we like glitter. I do. <laughs> And who knows, we might put some glitter on this. It's time for some glitter. Brown. Like you said, silver and purple. Okay. But like I said, I don't know if I'll be able to come on and paint tomorrow because I have a whole lot to do. Um, hmm, last week when... Oh, Alexa's talking to me. I didn't even talk to her. <sighs> but, um... I got a lot of stuff I got to get done tomorrow, so I don't think I'll be done in time to be able to come on tomorrow, but maybe later in the week, Wednesday or Thursday, possibly, and we'll definitely paint again next Sunday. I don't know what, but we'll paint something. Um, hopefully, by then, I'll have all of the Easter tear tray stuff ready. I know a lot of y'all are kind of holding out on spring to see what Easter's going to have, but I promise you that Easter and spring can go together. So, both want, both wouldn't be bad. Anyway, if you're not friends with us on Facebook, definitely like our page. We sure would appreciate it. Um, we also have a Facebook, White's Creative Designs, and we also have a YouTube channel, which is White's Creative Designs. So, um, go check us out. Subscribe to our page. Um, I've got several things coming out. I've got the Easter basket tags. If you haven't seen those, then definitely go over to our page and see those. It's little name tags that hang on your children or grandchildren's Easter baskets, and they're super cute. So, And one other thing that I was going to ask about, it's kind of something that I've toyed with a little bit, is what do you think about the um, car, um, the rearview mirror charms? The What do you call them? Car charms that's got the initials on them? Um, if that's something you think that you or your um, teenage children might like, let me know. And anything that you can think of, because like I say, um, I want to do the things that y'all like, so y'all let me know. And I feel like there was something else I was supposed to say to you tonight. Definitely let me know if you're interested in the paint party the um, first week, first Saturday in um, March. 
that is the only March date that I think that I have. I may have one other one, but I'm shooting for the March 5th or 6th. Somebody post and let me know what that Saturday is. I think it's 5th or 6th. And if you have an order that you're waiting on, it will be out this week. I will probably have all orders ready by Wednesday. Um, I got most of them in on Friday, so I should have everything ready for everybody by Wednesday. I will message you and let you know when to pick up, um, and y'all are welcome to come to my office. And I also have a drop on Monday. Christy, I haven't forgot, I will see you at our designated location. And um, what else? There's something else I was supposed to tell y'all. I can't remember what it is. Oh, I know what it is. Beads are in. Um, the beads came in. So um, I have everybody's beads and all set up. I will do a quick tutorial um, on how to paint the beads. And it's not hard. Y'all were thinking you got to hold this bead and paint it with a paintbrush, but you don't. So we'll do beads, um, bead painting. I might try and hop on um, right quick, one maybe Wednesday or so, and but I'll let you know before. I'll always post. I always try to post at least an hour ahead of time to let y'all know when I'm going on. But um, the beads are in, so I can go ahead and start letting this, um, the spring tier trays go. So if you ordered one, you will get it this week. Angela and Connie say both, both say that the 6th is a Saturday. So, um, we'll go ahead and if I'll let you know tomorrow if the Saturday's not going to work. So, um, that Saturday won't work when I find out what the church has going. So, but that seems to be a pretty good location. And there's more than one room so we can spread out. Um, we can have some people in the back room, some in the front room, and then there's two side rooms that we can go to as well. So, um, it just worked out really, really good. We had people in all those rooms on Saturday, and nobody felt congested. Um, those long six-foot tables, there's per one person on one end and one on the other. So you, you're not four people to a table and not even across from each other like this. You're one end, you're end to end. One person on this end, one on this end. So it worked out super good. So... Um, guys, I surely would appreciate it if you would sprinkle my video out to your friends. Um, and if you are watching on replay, definitely, um, hit replay. We may not have made it through the whole Super Bowl, but I don't think I can stay up that long. <laughs> I don't have a clue when it's going off, but I'm going to go and sit down, relax for a little bit, and then I'm not far from bed. I got a little bit of work to do. I'm going to be sending out some invoices this week. So, y'all be watching for your invoices. For those that are mailing, we do ship door hangers, paint kits, the whole shebang. We, we mail all of it. So, if you need something shipped to you, just let me know. There is a little shipping fee associated with those, but it usually isn't too awful bad. So, um, all right, guys. I'm gonna go. I will see you sometime this week painting beads and our little spring door hanger. I just lost the bottoms of the shoes, but anyway. And this is what we painted tonight. I'll roll y'all back up where you can see it. And you know what? They are always with you, right? I love it. Alrighty, this should be on the Facebook page and on the website either tonight or in the morning. So y'all be on the watch out for it. Um, it is available to paint at parties and at DIY, as is a DIY kit and finished design now. So if you're interested, let me know. Guys, y'all have a great night. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.